What's going on guys? So I want to talk about something that I don't feel a lot of people have touched on. Maybe they have, but they have kind of, but not truly. And I still don't really understand completely what this thing does when you disable the downward positioning sensors. So these two little guys will keep the drone from flying. Say I want to fly inside doing an interior real estate shoot or something and cruise close to the table to get the bananas that are looking ever so beautiful in the shot. A lot of times you'll start flying and it'll detect a table and it will raise altitude a little bit and just not really do well for the shot. So that's my intended purpose of wanting to be able to do something. And I don't wanna tape them or do anything like that because I think it will just kind of cause weird behaviors. But let's just go ahead and play and see what it does, I kind of moved some of the furniture. I just got this thing back, so <laughs> I crashed it and paid for it, and it's brand new. So let's see if we cannot crash this thing one more time. So got my little Pocket 3 recording the little table over there, and let's just see if we can figure out what this does or doesn't do. I know Aldrin from Flight Path said that in a new firmware update, you can disable the downward positioning sensors, but I don't know if that's really the intended purpose of this little feature. So let's go ahead, power this guy on. I always feel like I crash more indoors than out, but I crash everywhere. It's par for the course, I guess, when flying drones on occasion, or at least pushing them and doing videos like these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Fly app. Come on, where are you? Okay, so let me go ahead and do a screen recording. Screen recording commence, boom. So we got the go fly thing right there. We see, we can go in the profile. I'll make sure that we have the latest firmware by clicking in the settings. Check for firmware update. And it should be the latest version. Yep, so latest version of the firmware. This is August 22nd, I think, 2024. Anywho, so let's go ahead and fly. We're gonna make sure again, we're still screen recording. We are, we got a dark, there we go, okay. So let's go into the top little upper right-hand corner of those three dots and we go into safety. So right now we got obstacle avoidance on break. We can turn it off, but it will still have here, let me just, here, let's get this thing in the air really quickly. So, start this guy. Take off. Gotta kinda be careful when we're doing this, but watch. So those downward positioning sensors are essentially, you can't see the drone right now. Let me go ahead. Oop, the Pocket 3 case just fell, no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off obstacle avoidance right now. So everything's off as you can see. I'm gonna put it in the cine mode so we can go slow. And you can see, watch. See how it's going out of frame? That's because those downward oop, positioning sensors are on still. Yep. So there's that, right? So this is a problem if we're trying to, see it always wants to either land or rise above a surface. Oop, I don't want you to land, but we will land right now. Just for the sake of going into the next setting. So that was an example, as you see, of what happens. You can disable the obstacle avoidance stuff and it says upward, downward, unavailable, but apparently it still does its thing doing that. And I don't know if there is a true way to disable that. Aldrin said there is to be able to fly. He clearly said in one of his reels that you can clearly fly close to a subject, like close to an object, flying low, but let's go ahead and put the brake back on. So if we go into advanced safety settings, this is what he was talking about. Signal loss, we don't want to mess with that, but the vision, positioning, and obstacle sensing. So when disabled, aircraft relies only on GNSS to hover, which is what? It's essentially GPS, I think, 
omnidirectional obstacle sensing is unavailable, and aircraft will not automatically de decelerate during descent close to ground. So you apparently have to be careful when you're flying it with this off close to the ground, but isn't that the intended purpose of turning this off, flying close to the ground? Maybe just for landing they're talking. But let's go ahead and turn this off. When disabled, aircraft relies only on GNSS to hover. Omnidirectional obstacle sensing is unavailable and aircraft will not automatically decelerate, blah, blah, blah. So that was basically what we just said. Exercise caution. So great. We got one more thing to be cautious of. So let's go ahead and try to take off as normal. Take off. We got the GeoZone thing, but I'm in my house. And I'm going to carefully take off. And you see it's lowering and kind of doing its own thing. But if I put my hand here, nothing's happening. It's not raising. So that's a good thing in theory, but now the drone is flying kind of all over the place. So you see it's drifting on me. So you gotta be very mindful of that. You can't just rely on it locking in the GPS apparently. And it comes down pretty fast when you're descending. So again, look, it's not doing what it was doing before when I just disabled obstacle avoidance. See, it's kind of just hovering in place. So let's go ahead and see what will happen if I just kind of try to fly close to, oh, it's really all over the place, which is fine, but it's wanting to hover. I mean, it's wanting to rise up really fast and it descends really quickly. So I could see how it would be easy to, so let's go ahead and just try to get a shot going close. Okay, so let, let's try again. I'm gonna try to go low. There's the pocket. Okay, but as you see, it's not rising up with those downward positioning sensors popping the drone higher and up. So we can go in theory, fly. I'm about a foot from the table. Let's go backwards now. Oh. So you definitely have to be on the sticks more. And it's there's a little wind probably from the window opening. So let's cruise backwards. Slow. So it's kind of like you got the ability to fly low to an object, but then you have the inability to fly it as smoothly because it's going all over the place a little bit. So right now it's just kind of going towards the ground and now I got to kind of make sure I can get a little higher as you can kind of see it. I think you can see it. Here, let me see. Okay. So why don't we try to fly over this table? I'm going to move to get a little better positioning. And let me pretend as if I'm in a little shoot and I wanna just get footage of the kitchen. So here, I'm gonna start from this room. We're gonna be in cine mode, 4K60. And I'm gonna lower, go back Oh. It's almost wanting to, it feels like it wants to land on the table over here. It definitely descends very quickly when this is turned off. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's go ahead one more time and try to just go over this. We're going really close. And even though, oh, even though it's not 
pushing the drone up when it goes over the table or the counter, it's still wanting to lower a little bit, making it a little tricky to do exactly what you want. So I don't know why DJI doesn't allow us to fly normally with just disabling that whole downward part so it flies the same as it normally would. So I don't know. Here. I'm gonna get it over by the table again because I gotta change the battery and let's see how it lands. So I would hand catch this anyway. So let, let me land it in my hand. Okay, so that was fine. Yep, we got critically low battery, we're good. So if we go into settings, that's still turned off, right? So turning that off essentially did prevent the drone from going up when you put your hand or it sensed an object, but it also changed the behavior of the drone and the way it flew. So it was descending much quicker, even though it was in cine mode, it was flying and drifting, almost like it was in an addy mode. So just be very mindful of that. And maybe you can let me know, this is just a little something on this mode. And I really don't know a lot about the, vis the vision positioning and obstacle sensing option to turn this off and enable it. Like, I don't know what the intended purpose DJI had in mind when turning this off, because I just don't know. They don't really talk about it and I don't really see a lot of videos on it. So let me know if you guys know a little bit more. If I turn it on, again, I can launch it even though it's critically low battery, or maybe it won't because it is critically low battery. But you saw what happened. If I put my hand here while it was hovering, it would start to rise up a little bit because it was sensing something underneath the drone. So these two sensors are what's causing that. And I wouldn't put tape there. For me, the main reason for doing this would be if I was flying in interior space and I wanted to get closer to the ground or maybe flying close to the grass or something. But just know that when you're flying with that disabled, it starts to go up and down. So you really need to be on the sticks at all times, ready to compensate if it's starting to lower on you or fly to the left or right or up, for example. So just be mindful of all that. And I hope it helps. A little short video on that and I'm hoping more people can touch on that. I thought with a new update, there was supposedly somewhere where you can go and disable that, but there really isn't. So I don't know, I guess that's it. That's what Aldrin was talking about from Flight Path. So maybe he can expand on this a bit and talk a little bit more and educate me on maybe what I don't know. But this only seems like there's so much to it. It basically, again, I don't know what the intended purpose DJI has in mind, for that option, disabling and enabling. Obviously enabling, it just flies normally, but when you disable it, it flies closer to an object, but I don't know why it also flies kind of differently. Like as I said, it's an Addy mode. So that's it. Subscribe if you haven't. Short little video. Peace, bye.